Hello from Five Boys and Girls. Welcome. Before I start talking about Chapter Ten Point Two, I would like to go through the last class where the Chapter Ten Point One class was first. So if you still remember in the last class where I want to give you the bonus mark, the bonus twenty marks over one hundred to 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 award you if you can give me the solution. Using the method with Dow sine formula and cosine formula, that means that you just rely on sine cosine tangent and Pythagoras theorems only, and you should understand that these things are actually talking about focusing on the right angle triangle. Okay, so uh, there are altogether six questions. I spent almost one hour to write so many things here, so you can see, I've actually filled it in all the. Spaces in these two pages in order that I can do these six questions once again using cycles at tangent and five vectors films only. Okay, so I would like to say that okay, you can check the solution by yourself by going to Google Classroom, and I would also like to say, as I mentioned in the Google Classroom, is that the method that without sine formula and cosine formula may not be unique. That means that you can use uh, any similar form using sine cosine tangent to get the same results of your answer. So why you have such a thing? Actually, this one is because from the identity from sine cosine tangent. But I think that today's clip I will not focus on. But this one because this is not what we want to focus in DSE. The why did I tell you to do so? Because I would like you to practice well. About what you have learned in June four about cycle side tangent. Okay, so here you can see the solution. But why do I want to take this clip? Is actually I would like to explain why they works. That means that how we can think about that cycle side tangent and various theorem can be placed using side formula and cosine formula. Actually, we will say that to use cycle side tangent and various theorem to replace side formula and cosine formula actually just means that. You have to prove the sine formula and cosine formula once using sine cosine tangent and Pythagoras theorem. Okay, because you should understand that basically the sine formula and cosine formula rely on sine cosine tangent and also Pythagoras theorem with some suitable figures and some suitable lines given, provided that you can prove the sine formula and cosine formula. But now I would like to give you the visualization of how can we deal with the problems. Okay, when we use the sine cosine tangent Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so back to the basic. We will understand that in order to solve most of the two-dimensional problem, we should have to see how many things inside the figure, and usually we have to take several triangles within the figure. For example, you can see the question two. You can see after you have drawn the figure, you can see there are many triangles. We work on it in order that you can see whether you can find some lengths and angles that provide you to have the answer. So this is our target. It means that. Now, when we use sine cosine tangent of Pythagoras theorem to do, actually, you want to divide the triangles into right angle triangles because you understand that in general, okay, you can work for any triangle using cosine formula and sine formula. But for sine cosine tangent and Pythagoras theorem, you have to do in right angle triangle only. That means that what you need to do in order to use sine cosine tangent of Pythagoras theorem is that you have to draw many right angle triangle in the figure. Just like when we say, uh, originally the triangle you can classify as this six type. The first five are the classification of congruent triangles, and the sixth one is a special one. It is because SSA is not unique. But if I have given to you that you understand the side longer one is opposite to the larger angle, then we can guarantee that the shorter side should facing with the shorter angle, or with the smaller angle. That means that here, when we say SSA, how can we think this triangle is unique? That fixed all the lengths and angles inside is that if I have S and A, these two are under greater angle, longer side. That means that the angle given as this S is greater, and the size given is longer. Then I can find the smaller angle. Okay, when we compare the shorter side. Using the SSA, okay. So now I would like to visualize one by one to let you see how should we do about each of them. For example, now I would like you to work on SAS. So you know the SAS is what kind of triangle? It is a triangle that we have the 
two different sizes for example you have one here and two here in and then you have the angle this one also no and i would also like to say a very important thing is that the triangle you draw may not be always acute you may be obtuse triangle just like this one but no matter it is acute and obtuse it is okay because what the difference is just how can you construct the right angle triangle the right angle triangle can be de can be defining the original triangle that means that you may think about that oh if this angle is acute okay then when i draw the perpendicular okay from a vertex towards a side then the altitude or the height is within the triangle but if this angle is obtuse then you have the height outside but no matter it's inside outside you can always form some right angle triangle provided that you can find all the answers for example now if you if you have got this side known for example this one this side known and this angle known then you can actually use the side to get the length of the height of this one then after you have got this one then you can also use cosine to find the okay the the the, the, the last side of this triangle so once you have this because you have got this one known that means that this one is also known then you can actually find this one by using fabric sphere because you're given the right angle from the height okay so after you have got the three sizes then you can jump to the scenario that when we talk about the scenario sss so actually after you have got the sss triangle for example you have this one okay so once again you can go back to get the height first then you have this one then you can see that actually SAS and SSS actually using the same scenario is that we try to find the altitude okay of the triangle one of the altitude of a triangle according to which sign you have okay then you can find the altitude so once you have got the altitude you can find all the angle for example you can find this one and find this one using simply sine cosine tangent by using given sizes okay so this is the idea of how do we do so even SSS, we don't know each of these part. For example, this or the part you don't know. But don't worry, because now, okay, because now even you don't have this one and also the height, but actually you can let this one as X and this one as Y. So this one should be something minus Y. Then you can actually form two equations, one and two, among these two triangles using Ferris theorem. Then you can still solve the X and Y. Then you can find all the lengths and also the line segment between it. Okay, so this is the visualization of how we replace the cosine formula using sine cosine tangent and also right angle triangle, fabric sphere. Then now, I would like you to take a look to the third and fourth and the sixth one. Because the fifth one is RHS, you don't need to take care. The third and fourth are actually talking about the AS and ASA. So I can't remember the order, but anyway. So I start writing uh, SAS first and then AS. AS. But you understand that okay, ASA and AS are actually equal because once you have known the two angles, then you can find the third one using the angle sum of triangle. And I also remind this one in when we are talking about the sine formula. That means that I just need to focus on one of the triangle to talk. For example, now I can, uh, let me see which one is better. For example, I, I think about that uh, rather I can use this one, for example, AS. AAS is a triangle something like this for example now you have this one for example now I have this side because this side should be okay non included side so I have to have this one but you can easily see this one once again you what is your telling is that you can draw the height or the altitude from this point to here because this triangle you have got this angle this side on and because this right angle you get this one so once you have got this one because this one is also right angle then you can find all the things inside this triangle that's done. That's done. That means that you can see what we actually we want to replace the side formula cosine formula is just you draw the height or draw the perpendiculars in order to define the figure in set for right angle triangle to let you get the answer. Even when we say the, the last one, okay, the SSA scenario, so you can see the scenario will be similar. But this time you have these two sign on and one of the angle, for example, this one is no. So you can actually use the same idea like the third one and the fourth one to get all the things within this triangle and also because you have this length long this length given as long so this triangle also know the things because you have the right angle here so you can see that the idea actually is not difficult and i could see many of you tried to use the method without side formula and cosine formula and also 
could complete all questions correctly. So very good. So do remember if you can do this, I should have given to you 20 bonus mark in your return. So if you cannot see the 20 bonus mark, so please ask me and I will give you back, okay? But uh, very sorry that if you are late to submit to me, that means that after this script, I may not give you 20 bonus mark, okay? About the second level. But still, I may give you uh, a little bit bonus mark, for example, five or 10 about your, about your efforts in doing the question. Okay, so you can see that uh, for triangle problem, okay, what we can do is that we can actually go back to what we learned in junior form, especially in form two, to make all the things using right angle triangle. But you can see you have to write more steps because you should show me what height or what order you have drawn in the figure. Also, you have to show me the new label the new steps to show me what you have found. Instead of using cosine sine formula, cosine sine formula sometimes can give you directly what you want to find, especially if the triangle is not right angled. You want to find a specific sign or a specific measure of the angle, then you can use cosine formula and sine formula directly. Very easy. Okay? So I hope this clip will give you the idea of how they are equivalent to each other. Thank you.